up guys, this is Pa Page from Off The Walls Radio, here with Charlemagne from The Breakfast Club. What's up? Peace to the planet, what's happening? Not Happy much. to be here at Penn State. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit scared to interview you. Wow, I'm a nice guy. I know you're nice, everyone says you're nice, but I don't know, I mean you said everyone has to have a self esteem, like you have to, you know, have a little bit of a hard shell, but it's like... I'm a cancer though, so it's like that, you know, the hard shell is the exterior and a little soft on the inside but you know this, this is what I love for people to say about me I love and this is what we all should love the, the, the greatest compliment somebody can give you is he's a nice person uh, he's a pleasure to work with you know what I'm saying like that's what I like to leave people with I like yeah. to leave people with damn I really fuck with that guy yeah. you know what I mean you know if you don't know if you don't know me then you might be like eh, I don't know yeah. I hear him on the radio I see him on television he might be a little crazy a little hard but when you gotta have a conversation with me, man. Nothing's wrong with a little crazy, though, too. Nothing's wrong with a little crazy. <laughs> you don't have any exciting Valentine's Day plans? It's Valentine's Day. Here. Nah, you man. Know? The mother of my child, I hit her off with a nice little gift. Make sure my daughter's straight. And I'm at work. I gotta get these checks, man. I was gonna say, you're here. You're spending Valentine's Day. I'm chilling. I'm not here to make all these lonely girls feel bad about their lives. That's what I'm here for. I think you today succeeded for. tonight. I think yes. there were a lot of lonely girls that got up and left. Hashtag night. single struggle. That's what I'm here for, to make all these lonely girls feel bad about themselves. It's okay. Why you, why, where's your Valentine? I don't have one. It's a pretty beautiful Nubian white queen don't have no Valentine. All these black <laughs> football players running around Penn State and you can't get a Valentine? No. Black guy, black football players not in the white tell girls? Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. I don't know. They're black football players. You're not in the white girls no more. I mean, especially here at Penn State, you're not going to any bowl games. You don't have nothing to do but be with the white game. <laughs> okay, this is your bowl game right here. Paige. Ah. So do you have like a, I don't know, I want to ask, I know everyone always hates when I say, what's your favorite thing, but do you have a favorite moment on radio or like best, or even, TV. Or even TV, anything? Um, you know what? Funniest, favorite? I, I, nah, I mean, I have, I have, yeah, I have favorite moments, like, um. Like a special interview that you like to have? You know what, man? I, I can honestly, genuinely say, and I, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, working at Power 105, winning the Breakfast Club, every morning is like a, is like a new favorite moment. Like, yeah. every day I feel like we're getting better as a show, and I think it's things that people don't even see behind the scenes that I think are good moments. Like, I genuinely enjoy working with DJ Envy. Angela Yee, our producer Q, Sasha, our board up at Measy. Like, we really got a good unit. Like, I enjoy the interns. I mean, I think that's probably my most favorite moments. Like, you know, watching people that I've... That's, that's, an, oh, that's another one of my favorite moments in the past 14 years, watching people that I've known, and we've all come up together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I look at somebody like Kendra G. She's in, at B103 in Atlanta. I look at somebody like awesome. Debbie Dev, who was in, at KDA in LA. Now she's in Houston on the box. She's, you know, married to my man Dwayne Brown. Like... I like seeing people like Miss Shadika. I like seeing people like Nessa in Oakland. You know yeah. what I'm saying? She's growing. She's on MTV now. Um, I like seeing Bootleg Cab in Phoenix. Like I just like seeing people grow, man. Like I think that's the greatest joy I get out of this. Seeing all of my people grow and, and prosper. Do you have any advice on it? Like us as a radio show to grow to get to that point? Like what would you suggest for us? I mean, we're well, always, well, you know, you, DJ my, Scream tells us, you know, make make mistakes. You know, be different, yeah. do stupid stuff. But is there anything else? I've like been say? fired four times. I made a lot of mistakes. You know what I'm saying? But my, my main thing I tell people: keep God first. <laughs> Stay humble and keep working. I know that sounds cliche, but it's real. But also, let gratitude be your attitude. Be thankful for every little thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you might say to yourself, oh, well, I work at a college radio station. I want to be here. No, appreciate the fact you work at a college radio station because a lot of people don't work at a college radio station. You know? A lot of people don't have the opportunity to do the things that you're doing now. So be thankful for this. And when you're thankful for the little things, the universe and God will bless you with bigger things. You know? So that, that's really my advice, man. And also, man, just, just stay true to yourself. Live your truth. That's what I tell people all the time. Live your truth, man. Don't try to be anything other than what you are. You know? Just just, just, just live your truth and let the chips fall where they may. Yep, Charlemagne the God, the hood general, voice of the gutter. When I speak to streets listening right now, you're listening to Off The Wall Radio. Salute to Paige, salute to Mike. What's happening out there? And remember, unprotected sex isn't the safest, but it feels best.